Now, have you ever wondered how a search engine decides which page to put at the top of the list? Well, it uses lots of different kinds of information. But let's just have a look at two of the most useful things. The first of these is called PageRank, and it tells us how important a web page it is, and it makes use of these links. We can see how it works by looking at this water model. So each of these coloured tubes corresponds to one of these web pages, and the pipes between the tubes correspond to the links. So we have a link from the yellow page here to the green page, and over here we have a tube from the yellow page going across to the green page. Now we started out with the same amount of water in each of those tanks. I'm going to go across here and switch on the pumps, and it's going to pump water from one page to another following those links. Now in a moment, when the water levels settle down, the height of the water in each tube will tell us how important that web page is. And already we can begin to see that the yellow page and the red page are not very important pages. The water is quite low. The reason is that these pages just have one incoming link. If you look across at the green page, we'll see that it's much more important. And that's because it has two incoming links. The blue page, however, is also important. Although it has only one incoming link, that link is coming from another page which itself is important. Now, of course, I was making a gurgling noise, <laughs> not me. On the real web, of course, the computer has to solve this problem for millions of interconnected web pages at the same time.